I think in the future, this is, you know, I'm, I'm very eager to see where this technology is three, four years from now. And while you're, uh, I know you're going to set up and show us and just- Hold on, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll do that right now, okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> so there, here I am in animated form. And so this is a puppet that our crew did up for, for me last year. I never got around to use it. First, let me, uh, let me wave and say hi here. <laughs> never got around to using it last year. Um, and then the pandemic hit. And I'm thinking to myself, well, wait, how can we go in here and use this puppet? How can everybody start to do these Zoom calls? How can we make these a lot more fun? And pandemic comes down. As you can see, we can change this out. So we figured out a way to go in here and uh, make the animation work on Zoom calls. So obviously we can add a mask. We can add a lot of different fun stuff here if you want to get patriotic. Pandemic gets worse this winter. We can put on the full gas mask. Um, we can take all this off. We can put on a funny hat. Uh, we can put on sunglasses. So there's a lot of really fun stuff we can do with this. And now, of course, we can. This is my dog Puck. We can change out, can change out what we're wearing. Uh, we can make it rain. And these are all just triggers that we've got, um, you know, set in the background. We can even do animation within animation, Ooh. as you can see here. Um, and we use these for all different pitch calls now. So we're, there's a you know, one client that we have, they're named after, not, not a client, but another prospective client that we we're talking to a few months ago, and uh, they had the word pizza in their name. So, you know, we rigged these up on the fly. So we had a call with the Chicago Bulls a couple months ago. And so we want to get, you know, okay, yeah, we can change the shirt, but we were able to quickly do this in half a day get all this ready to go. And you can see the triggers, you can see the smoke going, and it even goes on their sh on his shirt. So, you know, end up doing a lot of really fun stuff with this. That's um, cool. So, um, so when you do something like this and set this up, the software has to learn who you are, or how long does it take before you can generate an animated version of yourself? So what we have to do is we have to spend a week or two creating, doing the character design, creating the puppet, do all the different mouse shapes. Um, and some, some ways the software takes over things. Like if we want to do an eyebrow raise, that'll do it on its own. So what it's doing is the program is taking our, the audio and visual inputs that we're doing. And it's, as you can see there, I'm putting my finger up. Mm -hmm. So it's, we're doing the, what we're doing is we're coming over here and using these audio and visual inputs. And so how that's working is it's taking what I'm saying and outputting it into the different mouse shapes that we've programmed into here. Plus all the other different triggers that we've added in here. So if we want to have like smoke coming out of our ears, we can do that. If I want to sit here, it's, it's a, it's a Monday morning. We're looking a little sleepy. You can see that get a little sleepy. So, uh, we can do a lot of different really fun stuff. If we're, say, we're pitching to a Netflix or an NBC, you know, we can have that ready to go for that different, um, that different call. And so we can also go over here, like, and we can, we figure out how to put on a hoodie. Oh, there we go. Got the hoodie. We can add a zipper. Do a lot of different fun stuff. So was that, are you just using key commands on your keyboard to trigger these things? Yeah, so what I've got going on over here is I've got a whole other screen on the right side. And so I can just hit a button and put on a different, <laughs> on a different, uh, different helmet. I can go Darth Vader if you're more of the Boba Fett fan. Uh, you know me, I'm a big hockey fan. <laughs> um, can do all sorts of stuff, uh, stuff with that. So once you've once you've programmed or created this stuff, can you use those same uh, like the the um, Boba Fett helmet or uh, whatever on somebody else that, or do you have to design each thing? I mean, how does this work exactly? Well, let me come back over here on camera because I get really distracted. I can't even talk right when I'm doing that because I get so excited about it.